All right. This video is just going to be helping us figure out how do you um, use the Pythagorean theorem to answer word problems. Okay, so there are some basic things that I want to talk about before we start. Um, we need to be very cognizant of, and that means aware of, what this picture we're looking for or what drawing or, or what the problem should really look like. Remember, we're dealing with the Pythagorean theorem, which means all of our problems should come out to being um, dealing with a right triangle. So from the start, we should be concerned with a right triangle. That means no matter what we're talking about, in this particular case, a suitcase, or if we're talking about a ramp, or a ladder, or um, a baseball diamond, or anything, uh, if it's a Pythagorean theorem problem, we're really going to be breaking it down to a right triangle, because that's all the Pythagorean theorem really applies to. Okay. So some key words to keep track of. Ramp, ladder, diagonal. Those always mean hypotenuse. Those always mean C. So our first step in answering a word problem is to draw it out. So a suitcase measures 24 inches long and 18 inches high. So long would go down here, 24 inches long, 18 inches high. Okay. What is the diagonal length of the suitcase to the nearest tenth? Diagonal. Again, that's that word we were just talking about. That means hypotenuse. That means C. Okay, most of the time when they're giving you problems like this, the thing that's going to be C is going to be on an angle. It's going to be slanted um, because that's the easiest thing to use for word problems. Ladders are always tilted on an angle. Ramps always run on an angle. Okay, there's a reason they use those kinds of problems because those objects are on an angle and slanted and look like an hypotenuse of a right triangle. Okay, so the next step, after we draw the picture, so first we draw, then we assign values, so that's why I put 20 to, uh, 24 and 18 where they were, I assign them values to my picture, then I'm going to assign my variables. So I know my equation is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, so I'm going to assign a, b, and c. Well, I know 24 and 18 are legs because they create the right angle, so they're going to be A and B. And I know that the diagonal is C because we just talked about that. The word diagonal usually is uh, dealing with the hypotenuse of C. So now I'm going to just plug them in. So solve using the Pythagorean theorem, shorthand PT. Okay, so now I'm going to plug them in. So I got 18 squared plus. 24 squared equals c squared. 18 squared is 324. And then 24 squared, I'm going to have to do that in my calculator, is 576. And I'm going to add these two together. And I'm going to get 900. Well, let's just check in the calculator to make sure. Oh, I'm right again. 900. And then we're just going to find the square root of both of these. That's our last step. And the square root of 900 is 30. So we know that 30 is the diagonal. Okay, again, this problem is not hard once we can pull it out of the actual question and into a drawing. That's why drawing is so important. Now if we just pull out of the drawing, we ignore the word problem. If I just give you this triangle with 18 and 24 as the side lengths, you would easily plug that in and find C. That's not hard. Okay? It gets more difficult when you have to pull out of the problem what exactly are you dealing with. Okay, let's do one more. Um, and this one, let's say we were, we were given a picture or we were given a story problem that said, we have a ladder leaning up against a house. Okay, so the ladder leaning up against a house. Well, then I'm going to draw a house and a ladder leaning up against it. Okay. And it's a really bad ladder, so let's get a new one. And this ladder, we want to know how far away this ladder has to be from the house so that we can actually reach the, the roof, but also keep it stable. Okay. So we know the ladder is 20 feet long, and we know the height of the house is 15 feet high. We don't know how far away we need to put the base of the ladder 
from the house. Okay? So I've drawn my picture, I've assigned my values, now I need to assign my variables. Well, the ladder we talked about already, that's C. It's on an angle, it's along a side, it's across from the right angle. Um, so that's going to be my C. 15 is going to be my A, because it doesn't matter. And the, the ground is going to be my B. Now again, the question in this particular problem would say something like, what is the, the distance from the base of the house to the base of the ladder? That doesn't scream at you, what is B? Use the Pythagorean theorem. But once we draw a picture, it becomes very apparent, oh, we're dealing with a right triangle. I need to use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out that last remaining side length. So again, we plug it into our equation. We have 15 squared plus B squared equals 20 squared. Notice, I put 20 in where C is. I did not put 20 in where B is. I plugged it in exactly where I thought it should go. So I'm going to do something a little special with this one to be able to get B. So 225 plus B squared equals 400. Now here's my something special. I need to subtract 225. Okay, I need to get B squared by itself. And all I can do this is if I subtract and cancel this out. Whatever I do to one side, I have to do the other. So now I get B squared equals 175. I take the square root, and the square root of 175 is 13.2, roughly 13.2. Okay, I'm trying to put that ladder 13.2 feet away from the house so that I can uh, ensure that it reaches the top and that it's safe for me to go up and down it. The biggest thing to pull away from word problems is making sure we draw that picture so that we put the right numbers in the right places and then assign the correct variables to the correct numbers. Because there's nothing worse than doing all the work and realize, oh, I put 20 where B is and I solved for C. Okay? And then we have the whole thing messed up. We don't really want to do that. So, big draw back here. Parents, if you're watching with your, your kids, helping them study for the test, push them to draw the pictures. Almost on all these Pythagorean theorem problems. Drawing a picture allowing yourself to visually see, all right, this is the hypotenuse, these are my legs, um, ensures that you're probably going to do better on the, uh, on the test, ensures that you'll probably solve the problem with more ease, because you can visually see what you're dealing with, instead of trying to go, oh yeah, uh, ladders, now I'm just going to put that in for B, uh, height, I'll put that in for A, um, without actually looking at it. Also, if this were on a test, not in a Pythagorean theorem unit, but on a review test, or on a uh, map, if you don't draw the picture, you might not even know to use the Pythagorean theorem. You might not even think to use it because this just looks like a regular problem where you might try to do something else. You might try dividing or multiplying or something weird. When in reality, once you draw the picture, you see, oh, I have a right triangle. I need to use the Pythagorean theorem. Alright, so this concludes our video on word problems. Make sure to check out all the other videos while you're studying for our test. Have a great evening.